Hello and welcome to the nucleus of digitalization. My colleagues and I will take you on a short but intense journey through the digital enterprise and show to you how digitalization can become a true game changer. But uh, let's start with a set of questions. First of all, what drives manufacturing companies today? Is it flexibility or perhaps sustainability? Adaptability, the classic faster time to market or higher quality? I would say it's all of those and probably many, many more, making this a truly complex situation. And in order to stay on top of your game, you need to be able to master this complexity and with that turn those challenges into opportunities. And to do so, we need to merge the virtual with the real world. And we, well, we do it with innovative software, state-of-the-art automation, cutting-edge technologies and perhaps most important, skilled and driven people. We call this the digital enterprise, which is a holistic digitalization approach that helps you to drive innovation much faster by the use of the digital twin. So um, what is a digital twin? Well, the digital twin is the precise virtual representation of a product or a production plant. It allows operators to predict behavior, optimizing performance and implementing insights from previous designs and production experiences. Yeah, I know it sounds complex, but with this comprehensive digital twin, you are able to continuously optimize your virtual product development, virtual production planning and all the way to reproduction and the final product. And all this is made possible by taking on a holistic approach to digitalization. This by tearing down silos and enable integrated collaboration. It's basically like weaving a digital thread by connecting all the stakeholders and disciplines. Think of it like a subway map. You hopefully know where you are and you know where you want to go. Of course, in the fastest and the most efficient way. And this is what we achieve with our integrated approach. A continuous horizontal integration of value chains by making sure that data is seamlessly exchanged between the right stations as efficient as possible. And we have now enhanced our horizontal approach with a unique and comprehensive vertical integration. New technologies enable the unification of data and functions across all levels from the shop floor to the cloud. In other words, operation technology or OT is now combined with information technology, IT and its capabilities. And all field devices and control units operating on the shop floor are of course producing a lot of data. And now it's all about to make the best use of this data or information. And the vertical integration adds precisely these capabilities to the shop floor to actually master complexity. As a result, this provides manufacturing companies with a huge optimization potential including artificial intelligence for predictive maintenance, precise condition monitoring and improved quality. And in order to make the use of your valuable data, Mendix helps you to collect and visualize this information from a whole range of different sources. Developing your own apps isn't that complicated either. With the Mendix, a low-code app, it means that you don't have to be an expert in high-level programming language. You can develop them yourselves. So, enough with the theory. Let me show you how all of this actually comes together. Here we are in the area of the virtual product development, both for discrete and process industries. Solutions to design, simulate, test and verify products, machines or plants digitally. This includes mechanics, electronics, the management of software, multi-physics simulations as well as recipe formulation. And as we all know, is innovation driven by collaboration across disciplines. And that means that all teams work in parallel on the same data model. And this obviously saves time and money and definitely reduces complexity. And to explain how this works in reality, I've invited a software expert, my colleague Samuel. And here he is. Samuel, 
In what way would you say that machine builders of today can benefit from working with a digital twin and to master the complexity they are faced with on a day-to-day -day basis? Uh, building a digital twin starts even before we're getting hands-on with the design. Requirements such as legal, regulations, technical or even business demands have to be fulfilled when we're building our product. Our seamlessly integrated requirements management enables this during the whole development process. Creating one or more machine concepts can be done by using simple building blocks combined with previous designs and behavioral models. This helps deciding on the further direction of the project. Modern machine development consists of mechanical, electrical and automation design. With our advanced machine engineering solution, engineers can build their machine in all aspects using integrated software tools. Machine designs can be validated using simulation. As an example, the physical load of the rotating parts of our packaging machine is simulated to validate the durability of the design. But not only machines can be validated by simulation. Even complex processes such as mixing can be validated digitally for the best process. Okay, so essentially it is all about cross-discipline collaboration. All right, back on track. So let's move to the production, which is also planned in a virtual environment. You can, in fact, fully plan, simulate, predict, optimize and commission your production digitally from machine to line to a complete facility, including the flow of materials, human and robotic simulations. Ultimately, this enables you to test your machines and lines and to fix errors that would cost you a lot of time and money during the commissioning. So why don't we take a look on how that actually looks in reality. Samuel, I know you can give us more meat on this topic as well. Indeed, virtual commissioning validates the machine in all its behavior. The mechanics with all kinematic behavior is run with a correct PLC code in a virtual PLC. With that, engineers are able to fully validate the machine without the need of a physical prototype. Complete plants can be virtually validated, including the whole piping and instrumentation diagram as well. Seamless data transfer between engineering, simulation and automation allows the new process units to be taken into operation efficiently. Okay, back to the machine, Samuel. Can you elaborate a bit on how such a machine can be integrated into a bigger context, a complete manufacturing facility? Because it's very rarely that a machine just stands there on its own, right? Yes. Engineers can design and simulate a complete plant. With that, the material flow of the factory is analyzed and the capacity of the system determined. So production today is very much automated, no doubt about that. But there's still a lot of processes and operations that need to be carried out by real humans, right? Yes. With human simulation, planners make sure that workers are safe and ergonomic standards are met at all times. But also automated processes can be designed simulated and programmed in the same way by using Process Simulate Robotics. Great, this is really awesome, Samuel, definitely. So now it's time to leave the virtual environment and enter the real world of production, as I told you in the beginning. We have simulated, tested and validated everything digitally, so we are sure that real operation will run smoothly, direct from the start. The fully integrated automation portfolio known as Totally Integrated Automation, or TIA, supports efficient development, implementation and operations of machines, lines and complete plants. Does the journey end here? Of course not. By constantly monitoring the performance, we enable you to continuously optimize your production and the product by leveraging the power of data. Imagine having new insights about how a product is perceived by a customer or how production is performing in regards to quality and efficiency. And then being able to feed this information back to the design phase where it helps optimizing it for the future. Which means you're able to optimize continuously. And uh, this is what we mean with the comprehensive digital twin. It is all based on our collaboration platform, Team Center, protected by a holistic security concept and, of course, part of an open ecosystem. But uh, what does all this mean for machine building in real life? 
These are three awesome machines that are all developed using digital enterprise. And uh, this makes them capable of the most amazing stuff. Hi, Marvin. Hi, Magnus. I got a question. If the requirements from the market are changing in regards to flexibility, let's say a company that's producing shampoo need to start producing disinfection fluid, wouldn't the MTP standard be a great approach to this challenge? Magnus, you're totally right. I will demonstrate how you can quickly adapt a running plant with modular production and the automation standard module type package MTP. The goal there is that a machine builder supplies the MTP conform, pre-tested and executable module in order to enable plug and put use at the plant operator site. With that, the plant operator has the highest possible flexibility to adapt the production to new requirements from the market. Awesome, great stuff. And I think this definitely deserves a deep dive a bit later. We don't have the time right now, but thank you very much so far. And who do we have here? It's Karsten and his additive manufacturing flexport robot printing and producing. Karsten, you gotta tell us more about this. Hi, Magnus. This machine combines additive manufacturing and robot kinematics for milling printing large parts and finish the workpiece on the same machine. So essentially what you're saying is you're using this big robot as a traditional tooling machine, correct? Yes, that's true. This one is using Cinemeric Run My Robot Direct Control, which enables you to reduce the time and expenditure for programming, commissioning and engineering tasks. Excellent. I've seen this technology a few times and I really hope that you, Karsten, should take some time and talk to the audience about this really, really cool technology. Thank you for now and see you later. Thank you. Helmut, great to see you. I suppose you can tell us a little bit about this beauty over here. Yes, of course. This is a new packaging machine from the small company TrackRap, entirely developed with the engineering software from Siemens. TrackRap used simulation to make it work perfectly before commissioning. Industrial Edge helps to optimize their performance in operation. And furthermore, they use mine hold, 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 hold your horses, Helmut. Don't spill all your beans just yet. There's an entire deep dive which our viewers can take a look at later on today. So far, you've experienced three examples on how to manage complexity and by that increase flexibility, efficiency and adaptability with the help of digitalization and, of course, our digital enterprise portfolio. Now you may wonder how to implement all of this in your company. We just scratched the surface of what's possible and it's clear that the whole digital transformation can be rather complex and we know it's different for every company out there. But we've got you covered. The uh, digital enterprise services support you right from the start with a full-blown service concept. And we have the experts who take you along the three steps of consulting, implementation and optimization to make sure that the digital transformation of your company will be successful. And if you are worried about how to finance this journey, there's Siemens Financial Services with tailored financing solutions. So to make the most out of digitalization, it is all about merging the virtual with the real world. And that is exactly what our unique digital enterprise offering does by bringing industrial software from our accelerator portfolio and our TIA portfolio together. So let digitalization also be your game changer. Thank you for watching and goodbye.